Hello, I'm Björn Müller, and as a product manager, I'm responsible for the bus and network solution at DSpace. Today, my colleague Radoslav Lapko and I would like to give you an overview of our bus navigator product. What is the bus navigator? You can tell it by its name that is used for buses, but for what in particular? Let's take a look at our solution overview. As you may already know, we at DSpace have a comprehensive tool chain that covers the most important task in the development and testing of ECUs. The tool chain starts with our bus configuration tools, which make it easy for you to configure very extensive and complex bus simulations and include many manipulation options. Of course, we also have the suitable simulation platforms for real-time as well as PC and closed-based offline simulations. Daily task relating the increasingly complex communication metrics is supported by the communication metrics manager. The bus navigator completes this toolchain as it can be used to monitor and control the simulations. But the bus navigator can do much more. Radoslav will demo these features in detail in a bit. Before that, however, I would like to give you a brief overview of the general functions and the positioning of the bus navigator. The bus navigator is a tool that can be optimized for two scenarios used. Customers who already use a, a DSpace system know it as an add-on to Control Desk. There, the bus navigator is used to interactively control the bus configurations using layouts. In addition, you can directly access the bus channels, for example, for synchronous monitoring, logging, or replay. The second scenario uses the same functions, but in a much simpler and more cost-efficient environment. The bus navigator is operated as a standalone tool by directly using bus interfaces of the PC or external interfaces such as Peak, Quasar, Vector, or our own USB boxes. But before I get too far ahead of myself here, I would like to hand over to Radoslav. Good day, everyone. My name is Radoslav Lapko, and I'm the product owner of the DSpace Bus Navigator. Today, I'm excited to show you some of the power features of our tool. Firstly, let's start with the CAN data receiving and sending functionality. With our CAN monitoring device, you can easily receive and send the CAN frames. This is as simple as clicking a button, maybe a few buttons. Let me show you. I started already Control Desk and I'm going to create a project. I will call it, let's say, Bus Navigator Coffee Break. And the experiment just demo. Now I choose the CAN bus monitoring device and import the so called communication matrix file, which contains information for decoding raw CAN data. Now all I have to do is to configure my device to indicate the source of the CAN data, that is the CAN hardware interface. I don't have any hardware connected to my PC, so I simply connect with my remote hardware. Now I can switch to the bus navigator tree. In this tree, we can see data imported from the communication matrix file, like ECUs, frames, and signals. To send or receive the signals, I create a bus navigator instrument, simple by drag and drop. I would additionally like to see the signal value in the plotter, again by drag and drop. With such a prepared experiment, there is nothing left for me to do but to start measuring. At this point, nothing happens. I can send a CAN frame, I activate the sending, and now we can observe the values. And also in the plotter. In this way, I send and change the values of the signal on the CAN bus by a few mouse clicks. By the way, 
You can also do it using our tool automation. Isn't that amazing? Furthermore, we can also monitor the CAN data. This feature allows you to observe the CAN traffic in real time, providing you with immediate insights into your CAN network, inclusive bus statistics. To add a monitor, I right click on the controller and select Add Monitor. We can configure it. I used the predefined values. Now, I just start it. And we can see everything that happens on the bus, including bus statistics. Imagine the power of having real-time data at your fingertips. You can not only monitor the data, but also write the data to the file directory from the monitor or with using our CAN logging feature. It is a powerful tool for recording CAN traffic. You can save the data for later analysis or for troubleshooting purposes. I can store the data to a file directly from the monitor, but also with using our logger. I right click on the controller to add logger and select again the predefined values. And I will start it. From now on, the data is also written to a file. I will change our signal a few times a bit. After stopping the logger, we will have a file with data. We can also save CAN data, including bus statistics, for analysis. We can do even more. If you would like to replay your log data, you are also right here. With the CAN replay feature, you can replay the locked CAN traffic. This is particularly used for testing and debugging. Isn't it great? So first, I stop sending the CAN frame so that there are no collisions on the bus. Again, I right click on the controller to add a replay and I select the file we just saved during logging. And I started. Please watch what happens in the plotter? The entire file is replayed on the canvas. We also offer all presented features to generate layout, monitor, log and replay the data for Ethernet and automotive Ethernet traffic, as well as for lean and flex ray with some limitations. We are also be able to synchronize all received data from different buses together with the received values using the time cursor, cursor functionality, allowing you to precisely track the timing of your measurement. I will show you how it can be done. Here, I add another data source, Ethernet monitoring device. I configure it to monitor the network via an Ethernet card on my machine. and switch to the bus navigator tree and add a monitor. Again, with the default values. And I will move it around a bit, change the views and so on to see everything. And run it. So I'm sending the data, the CAN frames. I modify it a few times. And I stop the measurement. And now I can use the time cursor. So please note, I enabled it. Please note how the instrument synchronized. I can move the cursor in the instruments and the others will synchronize. Now, let's move on to the support for our bus configuration tools like bus manager, flexray configuration tool and Ethernet configuration package. I would like to show you layout generation for the bus manager application in few clicks. Again, I'm going to create a new project. 
I will call it, let's say, bus navigator layouting. And the experiment demo. Now I choose the VIOS, our PC-based simulation platform and import an example RESBUS simulation application for CAN created in Bus Manager. I create a monitor to see what happened on the bus and start application. So we can see that my runtime application already sent the data on the CAN bus. Now I create a layout to manipulate the data. And please note that the instrument looks a little different as for the devices. This is because we use a new framework to generate applications created in Bus Manager. The instrument is based on Hyrie Array and has many improvements. Check it out for yourself. You can also easily create a custom layout that suits your needs. Creating a custom layout is easy with our layout generation framework. You can quickly generate a layout that fits your specific requirements. To use it, you need to enable this feature in the options. As you can see, we have more so-called preview features. We encourage you to try them out and provide us with your feedback via email. Your feedback is important to us. It helps us improve our product. To use it, I have to enable this feature in the options. Now I need to configure the folder where the XML file with my layout description is located. Control Desk searches this folder and found a definition of a new layout type for the platform element. A new context menu entry is visible for the platform item. Here it is. A completely new layout type which fits my needs. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to hearing your feedback and continuing to serve your needs with the DSpace bus navigator. And now, back to Bjorn. I would like to summarize this briefly. The bus navigator is a tool for typical tasks for hill or zill tests, as well as for simple tasks with low-cost PC interfaces. It lets you send, receive, log, replay, analyze, and monitor bus and network traffic. It has some very interesting functions, such as the open integration of Wireshark plugins for Ethernet. And all this at a very competitive price. Of course, the bus navigator is continuously developed further, also based on your feedback. We are committed to making our product the best that it can be, and we greatly value your input. Thank you for your time. We look forward to hearing your feedback and continuing to meet and exceed your requirements with our DSpace bus navigator. Stay tuned for more exciting updates. Thanks. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.